Anyone who's interested in security is interested in the quantum computers. They can crack almost any code that is based on digital technology. That's why the FBI, the CIA, and all national governments are following this very closely. A hidden facility shielded behind Microsoft's public face may already be experimenting with quantum technologies that go far beyond science. Some say it's not just about faster computers, it's about global power. Today we're diving into the claims about Microsoft's secret quantum lab, what it is, why it matters, and how it could reshape not just science, but security, AI, and your daily life. Microsoft's public quantum facilities at Station Q in California and labs in Washington and Denmark have made headlines with their breakthrough Majorana 1 processor. But what if these public centers are just the surface of something deeper? If Microsoft controls unbreakable cryptography, does that mean they hold the keys to the digital world? The stakes couldn't be higher. Whoever masters quantum computing first gains the power to crack current encryption methods while creating new, impenetrable security barriers. DARPA's involvement and millions in funding suggest this isn't just academic research. What does the government know about Microsoft's quantum capabilities that we don't? The gap between Microsoft's retracted Majorana discovery in 2021 and their sudden breakthrough in 2024 raises questions. Where was this research happening during those silent years? And why the secrecy around a technology that could fundamentally alter the balance of global power? Hidden, but documented. While Microsoft's public quantum centers get all the press, there's another trail worth following, one that's hiding in plain sight. Microsoft has filed dozens of quantum computing patents that hint at capabilities far beyond what they discuss in press releases. These patents aren't just about better computers. They describe exotic technologies like braiding Majorana modes, quantum teleportation channels, and topological quantum error correction. These aren't science fiction concepts. They're real technologies Microsoft is actively protecting with legal paperwork. One patent details methods for fault-tolerant quantum cloud integration. Why would Microsoft patent something so advanced right now unless they've already made significant progress? Another describes quantum networking protocols that could form the backbone of an unhackable internet. The most intriguing patents focus on combining quantum computing with AI systems. These filings suggest Microsoft is developing quantum-enhanced neural networks that could process information in ways classical computers never could. Patents are like footprints in the sand. You don't always see the person, but you know they've been there. Microsoft's patents hint at technology far beyond what's in their official press releases. These patents create a paper trail pointing to research that seems years ahead of what Microsoft publicly acknowledges. The question is, where is this cutting edge work happening? The gap between Microsoft's retracted Majorana discovery in 2021 and their sudden breakthrough with Majorana one in 2024, leaves plenty of room for speculation. What if the public labs are just showcases while the real breakthroughs happen elsewhere? And if so, what might they have already achieved that we don't know about? What do you think Microsoft is working on behind closed doors? Drop your theories in the comments before we reveal what we've found. Facilities and Satellite Sleuthing Microsoft's official quantum research happens at three public locations. Station Q at UC Santa Barbara, the Quarcy Group in Redmond, Washington, and their development center in Lingby, Denmark. But a closer look at these facilities reveals some unusual features. Satellite imagery of Microsoft's Redmond campus shows several windowless structures with extensive shielding, buildings designed not just for office work, but for something more sensitive. The Lingby facility in Denmark features massive rooftop infrastructure consistent with industrial-grade cooling systems. Why would office buildings need industrial cryogenic cooling unless they're running exotic experiments? Quantum computers require temperatures colder than deep space, just fractions of a degree above absolute zero. The scale of cooling equipment visible suggests capabilities beyond what Microsoft has publicly acknowledged. But the buildings tell only part of the story. The timeline of Microsoft's quantum research contains a puzzling gap. In 2018, Microsoft claimed a breakthrough with Majorana particles, 
exotic quantum states that could revolutionize computing. Then, in 2021, that claim was dramatically retracted after experimental errors were discovered. Microsoft went quiet. Suddenly, in 2024, they announced the Majorana 1 chip, a fully functioning quantum processor using the very technology they'd failed to prove years earlier. Where were they working in that gap? Some suspect an undisclosed facility was bridging the silence. The jump from failure to breakthrough in just three years suggests intensive work happening somewhere away from public scrutiny. But if the technology was hidden for years, what exactly were they building behind closed doors? The patents, the specialized buildings, the timeline gaps, they all point to research beyond what Microsoft shares in press releases. And with DARPA now publicly funding their quantum efforts, the stakes couldn't be higher. If you want to stay ahead of these groundbreaking discoveries, hit that subscribe button. We bring you the stories no one else is telling. Defense and Geopolitical Stakes Microsoft's quantum work isn't just about scientific discovery. It's at the center of a new global arms race. In February 2025, DARPA announced that Microsoft is one of only two companies selected for the final stage of its US 2QC program to build utility-scale quantum computers. This public partnership represents millions in government funding. But if DARPA is openly backing Microsoft, what classified contracts might exist behind the scenes? Defense analysts have already noted that Microsoft's topological qubits could revolutionize military applications, from drone intelligence to code-breaking. We're witnessing the build-up to what experts call Quantum Day Zero, the moment when a quantum computer can instantly break RSA encryption, the backbone of global security. When that day arrives, whoever controls that technology gains unprecedented power. Microsoft itself warns about a scenario they call Harvest Now, Decrypt Later. Foreign adversaries are already recording encrypted communications, waiting for quantum computers powerful enough to crack them. Years of secrets could be exposed in an instant. Right now, your bank account, your medical data, even government communications are locked with codes. A quantum computer could snap those locks open in seconds. Imagine who controls that power. This isn't just theoretical. Microsoft has launched a public quantum safe initiative to upgrade cryptography across its products. They're preparing for a world where conventional security no longer works. And here's the twist. Microsoft isn't just racing against Google or IBM. They're racing against entire nations. China has invested billions in quantum research. Europe has its own quantum initiative. The first to achieve quantum supremacy doesn't just win scientific acclaim. They gain the ability to see what others can't, to know what others don't, and potentially to control critical infrastructure worldwide. If Microsoft's topological approach succeeds, it won't just be a corporate victory. It could determine which nation leads the next technological era. And according to Microsoft's own claims, their Majorana 1 chip shows a path to practical quantum computing in years, not decades. More than science possibilities. Microsoft's quantum research could unlock applications that sound more like science fiction than reality, yet they're based on principles physicists already understand. What if the secret isn't just about building better computers, but about creating entirely new capabilities? First, consider quantum AI agents. While today's AI models require massive energy and data, quantum-enhanced neural networks could learn in ways classical systems never could. These systems might process information differently, not just faster, but fundamentally smarter. The combination of Microsoft's quantum hardware with their extensive AI research could create intelligence that makes ChatGPT look primitive by comparison. Ask yourself this. If Microsoft is already testing quantum AI, what would that mean for every other AI model today? It's like racing cars when your competitor is flying a jet. Then there's quantum sensing perhaps the most underreported application. Quantum sensors can detect minute changes in gravity, electromagnetic fields, and time itself. This could enable navigation without GPS, seeing through walls, or detecting submarines deep underwater. Quantum radar could track stealth aircraft that conventional systems miss completely. The third frontier is quantum communication. 
Using entangled particles, Microsoft could be developing networks that are fundamentally unhackable, where information teleports instantaneously across vast distances. Any attempt to intercept these communications would immediately destroy the message, making surveillance impossible. These aren't just lab experiments. If such applications are being tested, it explains why secrecy would be essential. The company that masters quantum sensing could render conventional military defenses obsolete. Quantum communication could create information networks outside government control. The strange gaps in Microsoft's public timeline make more sense if they've been focused on these applications, rather than just building a better computer. Their focus on topological qubits, more stable than other designs, suggests they're thinking about real-world uses beyond the lab. But what comes next is even more disturbing. It's not just about machines, it's about control. Control and human impact. If one company masters unbreakable cryptography, do they effectively own the digital backbone of society? This isn't just a theoretical question. It's the disturbing reality we might face sooner than expected. The human stakes couldn't be higher. Let's break down what quantum supremacy means for your daily life. Banking and finance would be immediately vulnerable. Our global financial system depends on secure transactions protected by encryption. A quantum computer could crack these systems in seconds, potentially triggering market collapses and financial chaos. Trillions in digital assets could vanish overnight. Your personal privacy would cease to exist. Every encrypted email you've ever sent, every medical record, every password, all suddenly transparent. Even more alarming, this wouldn't just apply to future communications. Anything ever encrypted could be retroactively decrypted. The concept Microsoft itself warns about, harvest now, decrypt later, means foreign powers are already storing encrypted data, waiting for quantum computers to unlock it. Decades of diplomatic, military, and personal secrets could become exposed simultaneously. Military systems would face unprecedented vulnerability. Nuclear command structures, satellite defenses, drone operations, all rely on secure communications that quantum computing could compromise. The balance of global power could shift dramatically in days. This explains why DARPA is so deeply involved in Microsoft's research. It's not just about scientific advancement, it's about national survival in a post-quantum world. When Microsoft talks about making quantum computing practical in years, not decades, they're accelerating a timeline that few governments are prepared for. Their Majorana One chip, with its reportedly lower error rates, could be the key that unlocks this new reality. The question isn't just whether Microsoft has a secret lab, it's whether any single entity, corporate or governmental, should control technology with such far-reaching implications. This isn't a story about Microsoft versus Google. It's about who gets to decide the rules of the future. And if all our secrets, yours, mine, governments, are vulnerable, then we're not just talking about science anymore. We're talking survival. Microsoft's public quantum safe initiative acknowledges this threat. They're actively working to create new encryption standards that even quantum computers can't break. But who controls those standards and who gets access to them first? Now that we understand the stakes, let's look at what Microsoft actually tells us about their quantum research. Microsoft operates three main public quantum facilities. Station Q at UC Santa Barbara was established as the headquarters of potentially world-changing quantum computing research. Led by Professor Michael Friedman, it explores what Microsoft calls the strange space where computer science meets quantum physics. The Quark Group in Redmond, Washington focuses on quantum architectures and software. Under Krista Svor's leadership, this team develops algorithms that would run on future quantum machines. Microsoft's Copenhagen facility in Lingby, Denmark openly conducts groundbreaking research in quantum computing and hosts advanced labs where much of their hardware development happens. These public centers recently announced the Majorana 1 processor, Microsoft's breakthrough quantum chip. But what makes it special? Most quantum computers use qubits that are extremely fragile. Think of them as spinning coins that stop if you breathe on them. But Microsoft's approach uses something called topological qubits. Imagine knots in quantum fabric that don't easily unravel. 
These topological qubits use exotic Majorana fermions, particles that exist at the ends of special nanowires made from indium arsenide and aluminum. What makes them revolutionary is their stability. While other quantum computers need thousands of physical qubits to create one stable logical qubit, Microsoft claims their approach could drastically reduce this overhead. In tests, Majorana 1 reportedly shows far lower error rates than competing designs. This means fewer qubits would be needed to achieve useful performance, potentially bringing practical quantum computing much closer to reality. Microsoft claims this chip shows a path to quantum computers with millions of qubits. By comparison, today's most advanced systems have only a few hundred qubits. The leap would be like going from an abacus to a supercomputer. Microsoft's public labs show us what they want us to see, but the patents, the gaps, and the defense contracts suggest something more. A race, not just for science, but for control of the future. The timeline speaks volumes. Microsoft's earlier Majorana claims were retracted in 2021 due to experimental error. Then, silence. Suddenly, in 2024, they announce a working processor based on the same technology. During those silent years, what breakthroughs happened behind closed doors? DARPA's involvement confirms the national security implications. When a government agency funds quantum research, it's not just about scientific papers, it's about power. The secret lab may never be acknowledged, but its shadow is clear. The future of AI, security, and global power could already be taking shape behind those closed doors. Microsoft's patents point to capabilities far beyond what they publicly discuss, from quantum AI to unhackable communications. What's certain is that quantum computing isn't just another technological advancement. It's a paradigm shift that will redefine our digital world. Microsoft's topological approach may be winning the race that most people don't even know is happening. When Microsoft says their technology could scale to practical quantum computing in years, not decades, they're signaling a timeline that could reshape global security before most governments are prepared. The question isn't just whether Microsoft has a secret quantum facility, it's whether we're ready for the world their technology will create. If you found this as unsettling as we did, subscribe now. Our next video dives even deeper into the hidden race for quantum supremacy, and you don't want to miss it.